Gentlemen and ladies, this video hopefully will be one of the first ever on the internet or YouTube where we're going to see a 5000 amp fuse which is one of the biggest you can actually get, get destroyed. To destroy this we're going to use astronomic amounts of power. The fuse itself is rated at 5000 amps so we're going to need more than 5000 amps to actually destroy this. It's extremely big, extremely heavy and I think it, we need to bust it today. So, as I say, if we put 5,000 amps through this, nothing will happen because it's designed for 5,000 amps. Well, the way we're going to attempt to do this is using a very large capacitor bank. Each capacitor is about 1,000 microfarads. That will deliver 20,000 amps, 3,000 volts, 10 of those in parallel. So we'll end up with approximately 200,000 amps. We're going to use a pneumatic switch that can handle 12,000 amps, so that's going to suffer some damage naturally. Wouldn't be this channel if there was no damage, would there? But uh, certainly no bones in the carpet on this one because it's outside, rightly so. This is the current curve. You can see 5,000 amps, five second duration. That'll handle 30,000 amps. Oh dear, oh dear, that's a lot of amps. But I think we should go straight up here to 200,000 amps because that's what the fuse can actually handle for a peak let through. There's our 5,000 amps. So we need to be in the 200kA range to actually pop this thing. Let's have a go. That's probably charged. Keep on a lead. Yeah. That's come, done it. That's yeah, quite a lot. <laughs> That's a lot, isn't it? That's mad. That is a lot for that. Then there's a thousand capacitors out of the microwave. Yeah. Thousand in there. I have got a few strips of this copper bus bar and I need to cut some holes in it. So let's get messy. Alright, we need some careful measuring now. The old scriber. Good. Where's my hammer? Central. Alright, a few more of them to do. My deboring tool. It's not the correct tool, but it works. Good, that's that horrible metal work done because I've got swarf all over the house. Right, we've got five capacitors now in parallel. These links are simply to link them all in series on a later experiment. So they'll all link up so we can have 20 kV all in series or we can have them all in parallel and have 200,000 amps. This should be good. Um, cable is going to go in there, some 185. We've got our links there to link up to the next bank. Of course, there is two of these. So that's just one bank there. Then you've got that lot. 
and they'll all link up together. Got these bars as well, all linked up. I've cleaned up these terminals just to ensure the best possible connection because we wouldn't want any losses, would we? We're getting there. <laughs> Shorting bar just for safety. Those are going to pack quite a punch. Kaboom! That's looking good. Should do the trick. God, there's no movement there. Nice. nice. That's a neat one, isn't it? Looking good. With this one I have opened it up carefully, tipped out the sand and you can see all the fuse elements. There's about 50 100 amp strips in there, all in parallel, just to give us the 5000 amps required. This is our control box that we've literally just thrown together. There's our arming switch and to activate it it's via air pressure switch. Because we don't want any power coming back up a wired lead in our hands. So 240 volts go in. In there's small transformer 72 volts DC that goes out to the pneumatic switch on the solenoid and then of course the compressor actually does the closing. So that's the control box all finished. Not too bad, it works. Here's one of these meters that I was going to use for the capacitor bank. Unfortunately this one popped in quite a dramatic way. This wire link sadly had cut into one of the resistors causing a catastrophic failure. So luckily I've ordered another one and I'm going to modify this so this link is recessed and then perhaps we can put some insulation there but this one's new but it's old so I think that's where the age and the compression of the thing has made that cut into it but it is usable That's a bit better, isn't it, eh? Q. 
good. That's not going to cut into those resistors like this one. Problem solved. A bit more insulation perhaps. Well, this has definitely improved this resistor network for that meter. For a bit more insulation, I'm going to pop that in there. That can handle 5kV or so, I think. Easy. That's definitely looking better. Two sheets of that high voltage insulation. Those resistors won't get damaged now, will they? Good. Hmm. Shame that. But saved by the spare. Good. That's on there like that. Now we can measure 3000 volts. Analog. Just as it should be. Good. Bolt that up then. What I need to do now is quickly test this meter to make sure it does work. If it does, that's good news because then we can use it on the big experiment which is downstairs. So for now, we have a microwave oven transformer, diode and capacitor straight on there. We'll get it up to 2kV or so and see if it works. Let's zoom in a bit so we can see it. Good. Let's test it. That's a thousand volts. Let's get it up to two kV. That is looking promising. Uh, the microwave transformer actually offload. Uh, let's discharge that. That should drop like a sack of poo. Stand by for the bang. That help is what it was. Smoke coming out of the fumes. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. A little waft of smoke coming out of there. Oh, he popped it. I think he's popped it. Oh, I, I think he's popped, popped it. it. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> what if there is any uh, bit left in there? Could go one more on it. I bet there's still some in there. It'd be easier to destroy that even more now. It's not dropping any more than that, is it?
Bye. Ah, look at that fuse. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's got it. Oh, there might be a couple of links left. Yeah, they've all flown over here. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> Spat them out. Contact has taken a beating, but it's doing it, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Well, you have a little bit of wire wool in there. Mm, we'll see what happens with that. Naturally, I'd like to say thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you may have learned something. Hope it was interesting. And very, very briefly, I did see all the comments and all the likes on that previous video. I got the message loud and clear. You want videos. So I want videos too. Let's carry on. Let's uh, make this year perhaps a little bit better than what it started. So I will see you very soon on the next video. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.